Raising Chickens Information 22 Austra Lorp A breed developed in Australia primarily from the Black Orpington as a dual purpose farmstead chicken. The breed name was derived by combining the words Australia and Orpington. <clears throat> The Australorp has a single comb, comes only in black, and may be either large or bantam. The hens are good layers of brown shell eggs and have a quiet disposition that makes them first-rate brooding hens. Automatic door closer. A mechanical device that is regulated either by a timer or by sunlight to close a pop hole door in the evening and open it in the morning. Since chickens actively forage at dusk, the door must be set so it won't close until they are all safely inside. In the morning, the door might be set to open after the hens have finished laying. To prevent the ritual hunt for eggs laid outside the shelter, also called doorkeeper. Automatic turner. A mechanical device that periodically turns eggs in an incubator so it doesn't have to be done manually. Auto sexing. Revealing clearly distinct characteristics at hatch by which cockerels may easily be distinguished from pullets with a single breed. The term autosexing was developed to differentiate between sex-link purebreds and sex-link crossbreds. Autosexing breeds include the barred Plymouth rocks and other barred varieties. Light brown and silver varieties of leghorn, Norwegian Jerahan, -ger -ger and the Creeley variety of Penedesenka. Many auto sexting breeds were developed through crosses with a barred Plymouth rock. Combining the two names in the resulting breed, Ankobar, Ancona crossed with Bard Rock, Campbar, Campine, Cobar, Co Cockin, Coach, Cochin, Legbar, Leghorn, Roadbar, Rhode Island Red, well bar, well sumer, and so forth. At hatch, the cockerels are lighter in color than the pullets. 23. Auto sex breeds were developed primarily in Cambridge, England during the 1930s, and most are now either rare or extinct. In the United States, the autosexing California Gray was developed in the 1930s by crossing white leghorns with barred Plymouth rocks, but it too is now quite rare. See also sex link. Autosomal chromosome. Any chromosome that is not a sex chromosome of a chicken's 39 pairs 38 are autosomal. This is a picture of the Australorp hen. All black with a red head.
avian. Pertaining to birds from the Latin word avius, meaning bird. Avian influenza, see bird flu. Avidian, a protein in raw eggs. Among the various proteins, avidin is significant because it ties up the vitamin biotin as part of an egg's defenses against bacteria. Since most bacteria can't grow without biotin, dogs and cats are sensitive to the effects of avidin and therefore should not be fed raw eggs routinely. A human, however, would have to eat two dozen raw eggs a day to be affected. Cooking eggs inactivates avidin. Axial feather. The single short feather growing between and separating a wing's primary and secondary feathers. When you spread out a chicken's wing, the axial feather is roughly in the middle and indicates where the primaries end and the secondaries begin, also called key feather. Here's a picture of the axial feather. Right smack dab in the middle. And it seems to be shorter than both sets. B. 24. Back. The top section of a chicken's body from the base of the neck to the base of the tail, including the cape and saddle. The length, shape, and slope of the back vary with the breed and are important distinguishing features. See also cape and saddle. Balanced ration. A ration that provides all the nutrition a chicken needs, which varies with season, stage of growth, and production. Improper nutrition, resulting, for example, from feeding a ration that contains insufficient calcium, carbohydrate, or protein, or perhaps from feeding too little of a balanced ration, can cause a reduction in laying. Cold weather increases a chicken's need for carbohydrates. Failing to adjust the ration accordingly may result in low production. Common causes of imbalanced ration are neglecting to furnish layers with a free choice calcium supplement and feeding hens too much scratch. Band. A wing band, leg band, or bandette. To apply a wing band, leg band, or bandette. Bandette. A numbered plastic spiral applied to a chicken's leg for identification purposes. Bandettes generally come in lots of 25 all of one size and color, and are sequentially numbered. Different colors might be used to denote different years or family lines. Breeders who double mate typically use blue bandits for the male line and red or pink ones for the female line. Since bandettes eventually get brittle and break, a good plan is to band both legs with bandettes of the same color and number. Here is a picture of a bandette, kind of like an ankle monitor.
Bantam. A small chicken about one fourth to one fifth as heavy as a large sized chicken. And generally weighing two pounds, 0 0.9 kg or less kilograms, I bet. Not all bantams have the same ancestry as the large version of the same breed. Some were developed from entirely different bloodlines to look similar, only smaller. Although nearly every breed and variety of large chicken has a bantam version, some bantams have no large counterpart. Those that do not are called true bantams, while those that do are called miniatures. But they are not exact miniatures. The size of their head, tail, wings, feathers, and eggs is larger than if they were perfect miniatures. 25. Bantam Standard. A book published by the American Bantam Association describing each of the Bantam breeds recognized by that organization. Its information doesn't always coincide with the American Poultry Association standards, standard of perfection as to breeds listed, exact breed names, and descriptions. Banty, short for Bantam. Barbs, the slender filaments of a feather extending from the shaft and bearing barbicils with interlocking hooks. The hooks fastened together to form the smooth web characteristic of the feathers of most breeds, except for silky and the silky feathered Hitamora. He Barn Nevelder, a dual purpose breed developed in the municipality of Barn Neveld in the middle of the Netherlands, an area with a strong poultry industry. The Barn Nevelder has a single comb, comes in a few color varieties, although only one double-laced partridge is recognized in North America and has a bantam counterpart in Europe but not in North America. The hens lay well, producing large eggs with dark brown shells but are not particularly inclined to brood. Barney, short for a barnyard chicken. When capitalized, short for Barnevelder. Barnyard chicken, a chicken of mixed heritage. Bard bearing, a color pattern in feathers consisting of al alternate crosswise stripes of two distinct colors. The stripes are of equal width in barred Plymouth Rocks, unequal in Campines, Dominic Keys, and Hollands. The irregular stripes of gold and silver penciled Hamburg females may also properly be called bearing. A color defect in a black feather created by the appearance of crosswise purple stripes. Here is a picture of a barred feather. So it goes from light brown to dark brown, light brown, back to dark, and so forth, horizontally. Here is a picture of a Barnevelder hen. Pretty dark, brown and black, Twenty-six. Barth Hugh 
Buckner. One of Switzerland's two Appenzeller breeds. Little known outside its native country. Barth Huner means bearded chicken in German. The primary language of the region. This breed is quite chunky in appearance. Sports a rose comb in addition to a beard and muffs. Comes in a few color varieties and may be large or bantam. The hens lay white shell eggs and may brood. Bastard wing. Alula. This, the term is used in the old sense of the word, meaning false, because it looks like a tiny false wing growing out of the regular wing. See also Alula. Bator, short for incubator. Beak, the hard protruding portion of a bird's mouth consisting of an upper and lower mandible that serve as the bird's jaws. Beak beating. A feeding behavior in which the chickens picks up a bit of food in its beak and rubs it on the ground to break off pieces small enough to swallow. Beak conditioning. An industry euphemism for debeaking. See also debeak. Beaking a uh, beak, beaking out. The practice of using the beak to scoop feed from a uh, through throw onto the ground. Feed on the ground is usually wasted because it gets trampled in the dirt into the dirt or bedding and covered with droppings to discourage beaking out use a feeder or trowel with a rolled or bent in edge and adjust the hopper to the height of the chickens backs when raising chicks Fill chick size trowel feeders only two thirds full and continue adjusting feeder height as the birds grow to maturity, also called billing out. Beak wiping a grooming behavior in which the chicken wipes its beak along the ground. This activity serves three purposes. It cleans the beak, sharpens the beak, and keeps the ends from growing too long or out of balance. Beard. A dense clump of small feathers attached to the upper throat, just under the beak, always in association with a muff. Some breeds, such as Belgian bearded D. Anvers and Belgian bearded D. Uckle are clearly identified as bearded. Other bearded breeds include Ameraucana, Crivecoraur, I can't pronounce that ship, Favoroli, and Houdan. Some breeds, notably Polish and Silky, come in bearded and non bearded varieties. Here is a picture of the Barthuner hen. Pretty much black, gray feet. Pretty similar to that Australian one. Twenty-seven. Bearded D'Anvers, see Belgian Bearded D'Anvers. Bearded D'Ocal, see Belgian Bearded D'Ocal. Bedding, any material such as chopped straw, 
wood shavings, except cedar, which is toxic to chickens. Shredded paper or dried gr grass clippings scattered on the floor of a chicken coop to absorb, absorb moisture and droppings. Cushion the bird's feet help minimize breast blisters and other injuries to heavy breeds and control temperature by insulating the ground. So remember you can use chopped straw, wood shavings, do not use cedar wood because it is toxic. You can use shredded paper and dried grass clippings. Beetle brow. A prominent forehead that projects out over the eyes, typical in Brahmas, Malays, and Shamos. Giving the chicken the often underserved appearance of being mean or sinister. Beak trimming. Sometimes the length of the beak's two mandibles must be adjusted so the chicken can properly peck and preen. Like fingernails, a beak grows continuously, but unlike fingernails, it normally wears down as fast as it grows. Aided by the activity of beak wiping, when a chicken lacks opportunities to keep its beak worn down, for instance, if it is caged, the upper mandible grows so long it interferes with eating and other activities that are important to the chicken's well-being. The upper mandible is naturally a little longer than the lower mandible. If the upper half begins to overlap the lower, Trim it back with the fingernail file. Once it has passed the filling stage, use toenail clippers or canine clippers to trim it back. Unless the upper beak has grown far too long, the part that needs to be trimmed away will be lighter in color than the rest of the beak. If in doubt, look inside the chicken's mouth to see where the live tissue ends. In most cases, the upper half needs trimming. Rarely, the lower part may need reshaping, especially if a too long upper mandible has pushed the lower mandible in the opposite direction. Beak trimming is not the same as debeaking although it has been used euphemistically in the commercial poultry industry as a synonym. Here is a picture of a beard. Oh, okay. Here is a beetle brow. So instead of having like a comb, it just looks like a like a like a hammer top or something on the top. And it doesn't have a beard like this one does. That's cool. And then here is a picture of an overgrown upper mandible. Here is the correct way it should be. Pretty much meeting right smack in the middle.